I'm Megan Abbott and my book is You Will Know Me. I've always been interested in prodigies and the families of prodigies. So this is the story of the parents of a gymnastics prodigy, Devin, who's 15. She's sort of possibly on the road towards Olympic mm -hmm. possibilities. Um, and her parents have been sort of the driving force behind her all her life, particularly Katie, the mother, who's the main character. And then sort of in their tight-knit gymnastics community, something goes wrong, because it is a crime novel. It is a crime novel. I didn't want Katie and Eric to be a typical stage mom, stage Dad, I wouldn't have and they're texture. not. Oh, good. They yeah. have a lot of texture. I mean, it's it was absolutely fascinating to see how their relationship and the the darkness in it, because it seems like you know if you do have to drive a child, that they, it would have to be a very hard thing. Right, and there is sort of know where their ambitions end and yours begin, and vice versa. I think with you know gymnasts start at age three or four. Mm -hmm. they, so how do they really know what they really want, and how do the parents know when their desires have have taken over? Did you talk to any parents of competitive athletes? I did, I let, not too much because well, often they don't really tell you. They don't oh, they're really not gonna tell you the truth. <laughs> no, yeah. no. So I had to, you know, I had to sort of almost eavesdrop. Uh, there's a lot of online forums of gymnast parents and I would sort of listen That's to the way they right. talk. They don't know you're listening or watching and so you're kind of this online predator <laughs> um, following their conversations. Yeah, I want them to be sympathetic too, um, but that have this sort of ambiguity about, you know, their own sort of the state, their own stakes in this. You have talked about the superficiality of the genre distinctions, and you mentioned that you think that they may be collapsing at last. Yes. Can you expound on that? Yes, I mean, I think, you know, most of us who are big readers, and all the writers are, feel that they are probably pointless to begin with, uh, that, yeah. you know, <laughs> I, you know, I somehow literary fiction isn't considered a genre, but of course, if you're gonna make these distinctions, it is, and I, I've always really hated the term transcending the genre, yes. which is sort of such a backhanded compliment. Oh, it is, it's the worst, and I, I don't think, I mean, story is story, and, you know, The Great Gatsby, classic of literary fiction, it's a crime novel, it's about sure. murder and it's about a gangster, you know, so I just think it's sort of all all those distinctions are kind of a way to shelf books, you know, but they don't really mean anything to the, the regular reader who's reading for character and for suspense and for pacing. And for pacing. <laughs> this has been so much fun, Megan. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you. It's been great. And thank you for watching A Word on Words. I'm JT Ellison. Keep reading. You've tackled this kind of elite athlete before with the cheerleading. What drives you to write about this? I think it's a complete lack of athletic ability. <laughs> <laughs>